Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a case where dental implants in the anterior maxilla um, uh, has uh, penetrated the floor of the nasal cavity and went into the nasal cavity. So if we look at this axial view, you can see that the patient is missing several teeth um, and we have two implants that are already placed at the side of roughly tooth miss, missing tooth number eight and tooth number 11. And uh, as I go up and down, you can see that canines are missing bilaterally and all we have are these uh, premolars and molars. So again, this is at around eight and around 11. So why don't we look at implant number eight? If you look over to the sagittal view, um, we are seeing this bony landmark, which is consistent with the floor of the nasal cavity. And some of you might call this hard palate, and that's okay for this portion of the um, bony landmarks. So anyway, you can see that the apical portion of the implant fixture definitely is located above the floor of the nasal cavity. If I rotate the volume so that we can see true coronal image, once again, we can we, we again verify that the apical portion is located above the floor of the nasal cavity. Uh, what's also interesting is that uh, there is some mucosal thickening, um, but doesn't appear to be any more significant on this side compared to the opposite side or the contralateral side. So what I don't know, or at least in the way I see it is it doesn't seem to have caused any significant localized uh, increase of inflammation at this site. Now, if we rotate the volume to look at number implant number 11, I'd like to start out with the sagittal view once again, uh, that it is uh, again extended beyond the floor of the nasal cavity. Let's see how many millimeters that is. So I'm measuring 1.8 millimeter. And if you look at this again in the coronal view, we see that it has extended uh, not only above the floor of the nasal cavity, but now it's abutting the patient's left inferior turbinate. Similar to what we saw on the other side, um, I do not see any overt sign of inflammatory change of this mucosal uh, layers uh, along the floor of the nasal cavity. Just because the uh, because of unique um, uh, location of where it has extended into the nasal cavity, it is at the junction of the uh, medial wall of sinus and the floor of the maxillary left sinus as well. If this had been uh, tipped a little bit more distally, this implant could have also went into the maxillary sinus. Um, just wanted to let you know, as I do not know much history uh, as far as whether, when, where, and when these implants are placed. Uh, as far as, um, but based on what I know, these were not placed at, uh, at this school and probably placed outside of the uh, College of the Dentist, Dentistry and referred to this clinic to address or to finish the treatment that may have been started out by another practitioner outside. Anyway, from this 3D rendering view, you can see that the patient is missing um, teeth both in the anterior maxilla and mandible, and you can see the virtual uh, implants that are currently placed by uh, one of our perio residents. Anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to share with you today, and on, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you always for watching my video. Take care.